Welcome to Nice Real-Time Designer How-To Videos. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a dynamic drop-down callout. Dynamic drop-down is a common requirement often used in callouts. Creation of a dynamic drop-down in a callout is done in five main steps. Creating a list of business entities. Add a list and text for each requested drop-down. Assign list entities to drop-downs assign text entities to text items, and create event handlers. To create a dynamic dropdown, first create a list of all business entities you want to show in the callout. From the Business Entities tab, right-click on a business entity, select Add, and then select New Type. Once the new type is created, Rename it to any required name and add a list and a text property for each requested dropdown. For example, if your callout includes three dropdowns, add three lists and three text entries to the type by right clicking the type, selecting Add, and then selecting New Property. In Property Type, select either text or list as needed. Once you have a text and a list property for each requested dropdown, Click the Presentation tab. Next, click the Elements button and select Combo Box. This displays a drop-down item in the callout. Items need to be assigned to the callout. Click Assignment and assign the relevant list entity to the selected drop-down item. Do the same for each drop-down required in the callout. Next, click Elements again and select Input Text Box. Click Assignment and assign the relevant text entity to the text item. Do the same for each dropdown required in the callout. Once you have created and assigned both dropdown lists and text entities to your callout, define when the dynamic dropdown will be filled, so whenever a dropdown value is selected, the value is assigned to the text box. To define the dynamic dropdown, click the Source tab and add JavaScript to assign the selected value of dropdown to the text entity. Next, create an event. Whenever the text entity is modified, click the Business Logic tab and then click New Event Handler. Select the value of dynamic data example was modified. Next, click Select Function and select your requested data. Then, select the business entity you would like to enter in the next dropdown. You can fill the data from any source, such as database, Excel, or any list. For this example, we have used database to fill the list. When you are finished, click OK and do the same for all dropdowns in your callouts. Click the Presentation tab and add the source code that hides all text boxes from the callout. Your dynamic dropdown is now ready in your callout. Here's a summary of what we've reviewed in this lesson. Now that you know how to create a dynamic dropdown callout, you can quickly create callouts in various displays. Thank you for watching. And stay tuned for more short how-to videos about the NICE Real-Time Designers functions.